Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Xana520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We're back on the title screen because this is where I left off the game, because I needed to change the setting. I needed to switch Z target from switch to hold. Because that's the way I play. Anyway, you may notice here that this is... Yeah, um, hold on a second. Get rid of that. Copy... You... There. There we go. So, you may see that this is our save file. And, on the right side, you'll see that I have saved it an owl statue, and it tells me what day I'm at, and what the time is. Currently, it's 1.30 in the afternoon on the first day. And we have one mask. 12 rubies, two pieces of heart, three hearts. Let's get back into it. You who hold the sacred sword, you have returned to the appointed spot. If you wish to interrupt your adventure, game, again, speak to me. The one that you have marked to prove your encounter. Yes. Also to note that you just need to hit it with your sword to activate it. And then you can use it in any of your forms, including Deku, which we couldn't use it before because we didn't have it activated. Anyway, we come over here, and uh, Kaume is in the little window. Oh, thanks, which, thanks for what you did back there. And a special deal for you, I'll let you take this cruise for free. Ah, yes, we've got a special going on right now, so we're giving this out for free. And she will give us the pictograph box. You see, look through it and press A to snap a picture. You can shoot only one pictograph at a time, but you can take it as many times as you like. If you take a nice picture from the boat, take it to the fellow over there. Alright, the boat's leaving. Welcome to the boat cruise. Please set your pictograph box to C and press C to look through it. Please enjoy the swamp scenery to your heart's content. Well, we're on a boat. The boat doesn't seem to give a crap about the um, lily pads. And we'll come through here and find out what else the boat doesn't give a crap about. There's a beehive up there. Those become more important later. Anyway, you see over here, this is why we couldn't get through here before. There's this big octo in the way. But the boat don't care about no big octo. So. We are now deep in the woodfall area. Loot will stop here. Now arriving at Deku Palace. The swamp water is poisonous here, so please watch your step. Are you disembarking? So, here's the thing. I misunderstood what disembarking meant. I thought they were saying, are you disembarking on the boat? No. You're disembarking from the boat. Anyway, there's a monkey over here, so let's follow him into... The Deku Palace. The water is poisonous here, so please take care. So, the Deku Palace is guarded by these two Deku right here. The reason why I decided to choose the Deku form is because, um... The, the Dekus are xenophobic. They do not like non-Dekus. So, you can't get in here unless you're Deku. This is the palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Now we have access to the palace. We come in here. We are in the Deku King's chamber. We've got his sycophants. We've got his butler. I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I don't like the likes of you in my 
I don't allow the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku princess. He has insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up in the cage. Take a good look at his face. So, we are going to, real quick, um... Have a picture of your mug, real quick. Keep this picture? Yeah. There's two pictures that you can take that will trigger the collection, but we're gonna use this one. Monkey? They keep saying that I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Please believe my words. Well, in order to... Oh, hello. Was my brother alright? Did you see an entrance to the cage? Or did you see entrance to cage? We know a secret route there. Enter secret route from outer garden entrance. But entrance in tall place. No can reach it. Need Bean from Bean Cellar. Live beneath Palace Garden. Hmm. Understand my meaning? Yeah, we do. Oh, you smart. Plant bean in soft place by outer garden. You figure out rest. Hurry, help brother. Monkey runs off. So the bean cellar is in one of these side passages. But there's guards about. We need to make sure we don't get caught by the guards. I need to make sure I've got the right location. The, uh, the guards don't seem to have any kind of situational awareness to their back. This is basically, um, Palace Guard Stealth 2.0. Oh, uh, where is this other guard? Oh, there he is. <laughs> if, they, if you get caught, you get thrown out, and then you can just go up. I told you to not any, enter any areas other than the Royal Chamber. It is a very rare occasion that you are allowed to enter, so do as I say. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Yeah, they'll just throw you out, but they'll let you back in. It's low risk. This is actually easier to do at night, but I'm not going to do it at night, because night brings its own problem. Especially in the fact that you... Whoa. If you do it at night... You can't get the reward for the pictograph. So, yeah. I think this is the correct way. I'm just gonna snag these rupees here real quick. Yes. See that hole over there? That's our target. You may also notice the mad scrubs up on top. <sighs> Plinths. Oh, what are you doing? Go down the hole. I think go down the hole. Okay. So, here is the bean cellar. Well, you're the first customer I've had in a long time. Do you need any magic beans? They sprout leaves as soon as you water them. That they do, they do. Mmm, I'll give you one free sample, so try planting it in some soft soil. You can always buy more. And we now have the ability to buy beans! You got magic beans. Find a patch of soft soil, then press C to plant them in it. Who knows what will sprout up? You can plant them whenever you want, but if you don't water them, their leaves won't grow. So yeah, that's the catch here. In Ocarina of Time, we could plant the beans, and then we just left the beans. And then we came back later, and, um... They would be grown as an adult. However, here we need to use spring water in order to water them. So, let's quickly make our way back out of here. See if I can get out without getting caught. Also, there's no way to break those big red rocks. Not in this game. Uh, which way are you going, Chief? Okay, you're going that way. Do you just walk back and forth? I think you just walk back and forth. Yes, you do. Yeah. 
Blind as a bat. The other thing we need to do is go through this other pathway. Just have that pop in and out. Why not? There's a piece of heart to grab over here. You are a jerk. You just walk back and forth. These guys just walk back and forth. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky to do. Let's just run along here. Sneak through here. Sneak back here. Grab these rupees, because why not? Piece of heart is over there in that garden area. So what we need to do here is wait for this guy to walk all the way to the right. Sneak behind him. No peripheral vision. We don't need peripheral vision where we're going, Chief. Alright, what, what is your walk pattern like? You walk back and forth too? No, you go around in a circle. Okay. Understood. Okay. Come on. Move. Move. Thank you. I'm just gonna run back here. Grab this real quick. That's the third piece of heart. I'm gonna grab these rupees, because I can, and I'm greedy. Okay, he's gonna walk there. just did your pathing, so I'm going to sneak past you, Oop, this way, uh, you walk back and forth, so I'm going to sneak back here, turn around, let me run, through here, come on, move, meow, there we go. And we're out. Alright. So, before... Uh-oh. It's getting late. Before we let things get too much further... Uh, let me on the boat. Can you let me out? Yes, we're boarding. I have 69 rupees. Nice. Now, there's going to be two effects here. One is that, um... It's... The boat has taken out the big octos. The big octos, I don't think, respawn. Once you've destroyed them, they're just gone. So you don't have to worry about them anymore. So you can just use Deku form to get back to the palace. Hi. Goodbye. You idiot. But the big reason why I wanted to... Take the boat back is because uh, the pictograph contest is only good for day one. So unless you do the whole thing on the first day. Well, welcome back. If you're ever in the mood, come again. All right, let's get this in. Well then, why don't you show me the pictograph you've taken? All right, let's uh, open this up and show him the pictograph. Oh, oh, the king! You are amazing. If you're not a Deku scrub, you're not allowed to enter the Deku Palace, but somehow you got, took this picture. This is a great shot. This is as rare as they come. I'm giving you a big prize. And he gives us a piece of heart, which is a new heart container. We now have four. I'm looking forward to your next picture. What's that up there? Ew. Anyway. The other... Fo one of the photos that can get you the piece of heart is the... Picture of the Deku King. The other one... Is a picture of Tingle in the Southern Swamp. <laughs> because that's Tingle's dad. Alright, so... Now that we've taken care of the big Octo over here, we should be able to just sneak in. Whoa, oh, 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 oh! 
Oh, and that's what happens. No, it doesn't take any hearts. It just puts you back on land. Whoa, where are you going? It, it puts you back on the nearest piece of solid land. These flowers do count. Deck of Palace ahead, beware of Octorox. Is that big Octo there? No. Alright, so we can just sneak in the back here. Over here, sneak over here, sneak over here, sneak over here, sneak over here. We're not sneaking, we're just sort of hopping. There we go. Back in the Deku Palace. I don't think we ever need the pictograph box for anything else. Oh, and uh, as a note, you cannot replace your mask on your C button if you're still actively wearing it. The game will say no. So what we want to do is actually hop over here to the side of the palace. Pick up our mask because we can't plant beans as a Deku scrub despite the fact that we can only buy beans as a Deku scrub. Plant a bean right here. Boop. And then water the bean. This better work. And the bean will quickly grow into the floating platform that we remember. That'll bring us up. And now we want to turn back into a Deku Sprout. Because... Or Deku... Deku Sprout? Deku... Scrub. Scrub is the word. Because now, what we've got to do is sneak through the Deku Palace above. You may notice that the flowers will pulse whenever you're floating above them. You want to take out these mad scrubs, because otherwise they're going to give you a hard time. I'm aiming way too... There we go. Took care of him. The other way you can deal with them is to drop uh, a nut on top of them, but that's much harder to do. Also, by what I mean by pulsing is like when you get too close, close to a Deku flower, they'll start doing that. I did the first day, 60 hours remain. Can I hit that guy from here? I don't think I can. So we've got to flute across here. Wait for that to stop. There we go. Got him. Okay. I'm not going for that nut. When it's actually dark, dark, the Deku Scrubs that are down there, the, the guards, they'll actually get little light beams. We're gonna be careful not to fall off this bridge or you have to do the whole thing again. That's what happens if you don't wait for the full charge. Can we actually shoot off a bubble? There we go. Probably should see what's in these pots over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. But now that Deku scrub has re or that Mad scrub has respawned, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Gotcha. All right, dive in here. Keep in mind that the dis the um the whole thing about the flower uh the flower petals running out of juice 
It only applies when you're moving forward. Ow. Also, please do not get hit by a, dick, a mad scrub's nut while you're flying. It'll knock you out of the air. And then you gotta do the whole thing over again. Can I make this? Can I make this? Please make this. Thank you. This one, this platform is weird. It goes over, but then it also goes up. So it's got a longer path. But you have to watch for. There we go. Pop out. Now we can come in here. We're now in the monkey's cage. They keep saying that I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Why won't they believe what I say? Fine, I get it. And I shall say nothing more to you. Punish me or do whatever else you might. Um, I'm not actually a scrub. Oh, you! How did you get here? Shh. If they see you, they'll capture you. What? My brothers asked for your help? Ugh, I'm terribly sorry. Just try to cut my rope. We'll talk after that. Well, you can try to cut his rope, but it won't help. Hmm, no good, after all. Wait, you don't happen to have something that can make a lot of noise? Like a loud instrument with sound that carries a long way? If you have one, show it to me. Well, we have our ocarina. But, if you recall, as a Deku Scrub, the Ocarina of Time turns into... Oh, you have them, you do! Just like the Princess! Deku Pipes! Those will work great! By the way, who are you? Uh-oh. Whoa, that's not important now. Just listen to me. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand my plight? Yes. So then, that means you will go in my place and save the princess. Okay, now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear it, so I'll sing it softly. Play the Sonata of Awakening. You learn the Sonata of Awakening. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku royal family knows. It proves the foolish monkey deceived the princess so he could enter the temple. Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence. <laughs> you better take the shortcut to the, the Deku people used to get to Woodfowl Temple. But you must hurry, if you don't, I will be punished by the Deku King. Well, we get yeeted out of the temp uh, palace again. But, we don't have to go back in. At all. Ever. Well, ever for now. The shortcut he's talking about is right here. Use this flower to pop up here. And fly in here. And now we're outside the southern swamp. On top of a... Mushroom tree? Flower tree? Something. Up here we have dragonflies. That is actually what these enemies are called. 
They're called dragonflies. They're... They have electrified tails. And they're kind of dangerous. But we need to carefully fly along here. Get to... From flower to flower. Ooh, this other... Idiot. Loot over here. Um, I see something over there. I see something over there that I'm not particularly caring for. Float over to this log. Right here. Walk up on this. And then fly over here. Chew. Oh boy. Oh ho 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 hoot! This is a rare sight. You are a fairy child, correct? What business might you have in this poison swamp? If you dare not venture further, I shall pass no judgment. It is better that you hurry back to town. The swamp you are in has lost its guardian deity, but it was destined to fade anyway. Hoo hoot! And that destiny is not solely limited to this swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. Before coming here, had you not seen any of the stone statues that bear close resemblance to me? I have placed those throughout the land to aid the one with the power to change the destiny of this land, wherever he may appear. If you have left proof of our encounter on any of those stone statues, then the song carved at my feet will certainly be of some assistance. Remember it well, and play it wherever the need arises. And the first time you play this song, we shall be become eternal friends, transcending time and place. This is a character I lovingly refer to as Gabora Kapora. Yeah, to differentiate him from Kapora Gabora. Because he's not nearly as annoying. Notes are carved in the stone. May the soaring wings take flight. You learn the song of soaring. This melody swoops you up and sends you soaring to a stone bird statue in an instant. This song is incredibly useful. In place of having six melodies that warp us to very specific locations, we now have one song that will take us to any of the stone bird statues that we've already activated. We currently have one in the southern swamp of Woodfall, and in Clocktown. But that's it. We're about to activate a third, which is right there. You may have seen it. But this is Woodfall. There's more enemies here, and the water is toxic as heck. But it also seems like the toxic water is coming from this place. Also, this guy. I think this guy's called a hip loop. Hip loops are hot-headed, so they'll charge if you look at it and look it in the eye. If it comes at you, assume the defensive position, or just shoot it in the face. I said shoot it in the face. I said shoot it in the face. It's a bug. I typically stay as a Deku form in here, because then I don't have to deal with the poison water. Because I'll just stop hopping on it. Ow. Go away. And give me that nut. Because I'm going to need that nut to get rid of that guy. Float over here. Gotcha. 
Oh, hey. It's a Deku Stick! We remember these guys. Deku Sticks burn well. Pull one out with C and press C to swing it. You can only carry, you can carry only 10, so use them wisely. So, uh, real quick, I want to talk about the bird statues. The bird statues only had one use in the Japanese version. They were strictly warp statues. The only way to save in the Japanese version was to reset time. Which, as you can imagine, was incredibly frustrating and hard. They added the temporary... Isn't this the Deku script mark? I wonder if they worshipped here. The, uh... The owl statue save points were added so that people could take breaks instead of just resetting all their progress from the middle of a... Uh, a, uh... thing. Anyway. You can save your progress here. I'm not going to do this every time, but I'm going to save and quit here. And next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're going to enter the temple. But where is it? You'll have to wait and see. This is NFI20 signing out.